Maverika, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Taino. Daktoka Priscila Colon, co founder and creative here at Casa de Ito. Now you've already learned how to say I am, you are, he, she is. We've gone over it many, many times, but we haven't learned how to say we are, you are plural, they are. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. So, first, let's take a look at the plural forms of the personal pronouns. We, guac, you, when you are talking to a group of people. And this you could be used for formal or informal settings. So, when talking to a group of friends or when talking to a group of elders. And this is huk, they, when talking to a group of males. Nak, they when talking to a group of females, hak or they when talking to a mixed group of males and females, nahak. So here at Casa de Ito, we are all about diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I got a wonderful comment from one of our viewers, Chris the Witch, and she asked very beautifully about which uh, personal pronoun we should use with those of us in our community who consider themselves non-gendered or who are maybe uh, dual gendered or in our Native American communities, they, they may be called two spirits. And of course, we want to respect everyone. We want to ask them what they would like to be called. That's not key, right? Number one. But I thought that since we are revitalizing, recreating our language, I think this is the great opportunity we have to also be very inclusive. In many American English or Oxford English, uh, British English dictionaries, they tend to be using the um, plural they when somebody does not want to be uh, given a gendered pronoun. So I think this is an opportunity for us to also use the non-gendered they, uh, nahak, um, as a way to allow people to not be constricted to choose between either gender. Um, so now that you know the plural versions of the personal pronouns, you can put them together with the verb toka, to be, and say that we are, you are, etc. So let's go quickly through the list and then we're going to do a couple of sentences. We are, guac toka, you are, plural, Form for formal and informal. Huk toka. They are for males. Nak toka. They are for females. Hak toka. They are for all genders or no gender. Nahak toka. So now that you know those, um, I bet you're raring to go and you want to put them into sentences, but one second. Uh, now you need to know how to create plural nouns because you need to know if we are teachers, you need to know how to say teachers. You've only learned the singular teacher. So the formula is super simple. In Taino, you just take the noun, you add the word part nagu, and then that makes the plural noun. So I'll give you a few examples. Bibi is mother. Bibi nagu mothers. Baba, you know, is father. Baba nagu, fathers. You see how easy that is? You got the formula, right? So let's do the next one. Tequina, teacher. Tequina nagu, teachers. Trocotara, student. Trocotara nagu, students. Guaitiao, friend. You're very familiar with that one, right? So let's put it together and make the plural. Guaitiao nagu. Now that you know the plural nouns, we can put them together and create sentences. So we'll go through a couple of sentences so you get the idea. So let's try this first one out. I want to say we are mothers. So we start with guactoka. We know that means we are. And now we want to make mothers, that is, bibi nagu. Put it together and you have guactoka 
Bibi Nagu. We are mothers. Let's say I want to say, you are students. Bukto ga, you are. And then, rokotara, nagu, students. Put it together. Bukto ga, rokotara, nagu. You are students. Let's say I want to say, they are fathers. Nakto ga, they are. Baba, nagu, fathers. Put them together. Nakto ga, baba, nagu. They are fathers. What if I want to say that a group of females are teachers? So they are hakutoka, and then teachers is fekina nagu. Put them together. Hakutoka, fekina nagu. They are teachers. Now, what if I'm referring to a group of mixed males and females together? Nahakutoka. Guaitiao nagu is friends. Put them together. Nahaktoka guaitiao nagu. They are friends. Now, if you're using nahak, they are as a gender neutral option when referring to only one person, you don't have to change the noun to a plural form. So I'll show you how that works. Nahaktoka, you see that? They are. Guaitiao, singular form of friend. So put it together. Nahaktoka guaitiao. They are a friend. So that was pretty straightforward, right? Let's take one more look at everything you've learned. Guac. We. Guac toka. We are. Hook. You. Plural, formal, and informal. Hook toka. You are. Nak. They, males. Nak toka, they are. Hak, they, females. Hak toka, they are. Nahak, they, all or no gender. Nahak toka, they are. But you also learn how to make the plural forms of all the nouns you can possibly think of. It's super simple. Let's take a look at some of the plural nouns that you learned today. Bibi nagu, mothers. Baba nagu, fathers. Fekina nagu, teachers. Rokotara nagu, students. Guaitiao nagu, friends. But the fact is, with this lesson, you learned a whole lot more. Now you can like plural forms of any noun, including all of these other ones that you've already learned. So today, I thought I would sign off with a little bit of the phrases and sentences that we learned today. Guaktoka, guaitiao nagu. We are friends. Taikara ya, guaitiao nagu. Good night, friends.